Megamoto build part four. So instead of buying a riser mount for this bike, I think I'm gonna use what I have laying around here. So I have this seven degree cart riser plate, which I think might be enough to raise it up in the back to clear the carb on the um, frame. And then I'm going to stack this custom mount on the top of it. And that way I get the front to back adjustment and the side to side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use this engine to mock everything up to see if it fits. See if the carb will fit the frame or see if the carb will clear the frame. And then I'll try to throw an exhaust on there. Then I have this F and B pipe, which I'll try to use, but I might have to cut to be able to clear the frame. I think it's a tight fit. So anyway, I'm gonna mock all this stuff up and we'll see what happens. I think I'll set the plate about right here and stack this one on it. And then we'll set the engine on here to mock it up. So that way you get a little rise out of it. So that way you get a little rise out of it, like a seven degree but not too much. So I think I'll be able to get an exhaust on here to snake around and come through the frame. I want to do it through the frame instead of outside. The carb definitely clears. Even have a little bit, a little bit of room in there between the frame and the carb. So it looks like everything will clear right there. So I think I'll just mount the um, cart mount right about there. And then, like I said, I have slide adjustment on the other one, so that should be enough. So with the engine sitting there, looks like the chain will line up. Engine's pretty much right in the middle. So I think that's about enough rise on it to work. So I think I'll go ahead and mount that plate right there. So I think I'll mount this plate right about there, right in the middle. So either I can drill it and just have the other one sandwiched on it, or I can use these holes underneath on the bottom of the plate, drill them, and then bolt this plate on from the bottom. That way it's already on there, stationary, and then drill the holes. I think that'll be better because that way this one's stationary and then the other one will slide on it. So let me do that. Let me mark this about right here. So let me drill those. Alrighty, so we got the hole drilled. Now, I can just bolt the mount. All right, so there's that. All right, so now let me just drill these holes for the uh, top mount. these out. So now, let me bolt this mount on here permanently now. Okay, so let me set this plate on here. Got that tightened on there, so let me set this plate down on here. And then I'll put the engine on it so I can mock it up. See where the mount needs to go. All 
right, so there we go. Tighten these down a little bit. I'll leave it a little bit loose so I can uh, move it back and forth. Let's set this up on here. So there we go. What's cool about it, another cool thing about it, it actually matches the clutch. The gold. But anyway, yeah, it's about the perfect amount of rise I need. Because it gives me room up here for the gas tank. I have an engine mounted gas tank for it. And then I have to fabricate a pipe, possibly. And the carb clears. I think that'll work. It's all bolted up under here. So it'll stay nice and stationary. Cool. Now let me see if I can get a pipe to fit. I don't think that F and B pipe's gonna fit. I might have to fabricate it a little bit, customize it. Yeah, so I got this nice F and B pipe for it. But the thing is, I don't think it's gonna clear this frame under here. I'm gonna have to chop it off. And then re-weld it. I hate to chop this nice pipe, but to get this pipe to work on here, I think I'm going to have to. Okay, so it looks to me the engine's setting about right where it needs to be, pretty much center. You throw the pipe down here, you can see that if it was like an inch shorter, I think it would go on here. So. There's only one way to find out is to cut an $85 header pipe to see. And if it doesn't work, I can always wish it had. So let's cut it and find out. So now we have an $85 header in two pieces. Nice. Well, there we go. Now it fits. So that's all I need. So I cut an inch off of the pipe. We'll see if that gets it closer fitting up in here. Oh yeah, it's a lot closer now. You can see that it literally is super, it is super close. So maybe just a speck more, I'm thinking. And it might work perfect because it would get it off that seat because it's still kind of touching that seat all right so after cutting the entire section off of here so basically you just got rid of one section i don't know it's four or five inches maybe four inches i don't know it pretty much fits perfect on the inside of the frame. It's not a center exhaust, but it clears everything. And it comes out the inside of the frame, which I wanted, instead of the outside. So if I could just tack it up right here. Hit this ground clamp on there. And I'll tack it down and I'll make sure everything looks good before I roll the whole thing up, of course. All right, let's see if we like it there. So she looks good right there. 
comes up under the frame. Probably put a heat shield on there or something. But it goes up underneath. It comes out up underneath the frame. Then I can always put a muffler on it out here. Try to smooth this weld off with the wire wheel. Well, look decent. So I gotta weld it up. I put a very small amount of weld on there as I possibly could. Cause I know the uh, other part was TIG weld. It looks really nice. So I'll make sure it looked decent. Well, anyway. I'll put that on here. So there we go. Fits under there nice. But it's on the inside of the frame. Everything's mocked up. The uh, carb fits nice on there. Engine's sitting right in the middle. I think that's about the right amount of angle i think it's a seven degree mount it's not too much angle but it's enough where the carb clears the frame the cool thing about the um, pipe right there coming out right here is i can run an exhaust trumpet easy if i want on the uh, fmb pipe to kind of extend it out past the frame just tack it on right there So that's kind of cool. Probably have to put a heat shield under that seat. Who knows? We'll see. Nothing you can't change later.